Andy Katz here for NCAA.com in March Madness with my top 20 non-conference games for the men's college basketball season. Let's start at number 20. Memphis taking on Tennessee in Nashville. That's December 18th. Got Penny Hardaway and Rick Barnes expecting great things this season out of the American. Number 19, UCLA taking on North Carolina. That's in the CBS Sports Classic in Las Vegas on December 18th. That could be a big game for Hubert Davis leading into the ACC. Number 18, Louisville at Kentucky. December 22nd, what more is to be said? Best non-conference rivalry in college basketball. At number 17, Ohio State at Xavier, November 18th in the Gavit Games. The Buckeyes rarely play on the road in the state of Ohio. The Cintas Center is gonna be rocking. Xavier expected a challenge near the top of the Big East. At number 16, Michigan at North Carolina in the ACC Big Ten Challenge. You got Hunter Dickinson versus Amanda Baycott, two iconic programs. That's the ACC Big Ten Challenge on December 1st. Purdue taking on North Carolina in the Hall of Fame Classic with the Mohegan Sun on November 20th. Purdue is my pick to win the Big Ten. This will be a big test for the Boilermakers and the Tar Heels. At number 14, Michigan State taking on Kansas in the Champions Classic on opening night, November 9th at Madison Square Garden. Big test for the Spartans. Kansas, certainly one of the top 10 teams in the country. Number 13, Virginia at Houston, November 16th. Defensive battle. Houston's going to challenge Memphis in the American. Virginia, my pick right now, even though they're retooling a little to win the ACC. At number 12, Villanova at Baylor, December 12th. And that game is a rematch of what ultimately was Baylor's toughest test en route to the national championship game. So Colin Gillespie back for the Wildcats, taking on the Baylor Bears, the reigning champs. At number 11, Kentucky versus Ohio State in the CBS Sports Classic in Las Vegas, December 18th. That will be, I think, a huge test for the Wildcats leading into the SEC. It's a young Kentucky team, a lot of transfers as well, but young in terms of playing together. At number 10, Villanova taking on Syracuse in the Jimmy B Classic in Madison Square Garden, December 7th. Uh, two old rivals, Big East favorite in Villanova, and I think Syracuse is a sleeper team in the ACC with Buddy and Jimmy Beheim for the Orange. All right, number nine, Gonzaga taking on Alabama, December 4th in Seattle. Alabama's gonna be right there to win the SEC with Kentucky. And the Zags certainly are one of the best teams in the country. More on the Zags coming up. At number eight, Duke at Ohio State, the CC Big Ten Challenge, November 30th. Big game for the Blue Devils. They will be challenged, definitely going against EJ Liddell and the Buckeyes. At number seven, Kentucky at Kansas in the SEC Big 12 Challenge, just January 29th. Uh, the Jayhawks are going to be looking to challenge Texas and others, maybe Baylor, for the Big 12 title. Kentucky, as I said, with Alabama. Speaking of Alabama, number six, Alabama at Memphis, December 14th. That's a sneaky good game down south as the Tigers uh, are going to be one of those teams that everyone's going to be a buzz about this season. And the Tide certainly have already established themselves under Nate Oates. Uh, and number five, Gonzaga taking on Duke. November 26th in Las Vegas, you've got Chet Holmgren from Gonzaga against Paolo Banchero from Duke. Big time matchup in Vegas. At number four, Texas at Gonzaga. Chris Beard taking the Longhorns in for their, really their first big time game of the season under Chris Beard going against Gonzaga. November 13th at the Kennel. Place will be rocking, no question about it. Number three, how about Jay Wright taking Villanova out west to UCLA. November 12th, love this matchup. Big test for both schools that could be in the Final Four in New Orleans later in the year. At number two, Duke versus Kentucky, November 9th. Champions Classic to open the season at Madison Square Garden. It is Coach K's last season, so he opens the season with his last game at Madison Square Garden. At number one, Gonzaga taking on UCLA. November 23rd in Vegas, rematch of the epic national semifinal won by Jalen Suggs with a buzzer beating three point shot. Both teams expected a challenge for a number one seed, number one ranking, and of course, a national champion. So that's my top 20 non conference games for this season.